My name is Victor Mateevici. I'm a PhD student at the Electronic Visualization Lab at University of Illinois at Chicago. And I'm going to present you my third visualization project for the visualization class. First of all, a few words about the data. The data comes from the 2011 IEEE visualization context. It is about turbulence models for fluids and more specifically for um, centrifugal pumps. The goal of the context is to develop a visualization that can help scientists identify vortices and instabilities inside a pump using different instability models. My plan was to download the data, process it and visualize um, the data in a way that we can actually see those instabilities. Problem is that the data is around 500 gigabytes so I had to do some pre-processing in order to make my uh, software load the data. So let's take a look now at the visualization. I've got two windows. In the main window I can control my visualization and I can turn on and off different features while on the right side I, I have the menu that I use to control my visualization and then we can see a second pump um, on this view we use this view to always give context so that we know what we're looking at so for example if I enable now the streamlines as you can see the pump disappears so by looking at the right wind window I always know what I'm looking at one more thing is that you can always see the blades that is because usually the vortices develop between the blades so we always want to know where the vortex is in context with the blades so by enabling the streamlines one of the first things we see is that we've got some it seems that we've got some instabilities right here and maybe some vortices and also the coloring, coloring scheme I have used um, shows that uh, we've got greater velocity at the outskirts of the pump and not in the middle of the pump. Um, one other thing we can do is we can change the coloring of the streamlines. Um, so by switching to coloring by kinetic energy we can immediately see some features popping up. For example there is a vortex right here and we cannot see that vortex before because of the coloring, but, but now when we, we switch to kinetic energy coloring it immediately pops out. And as you can see in those areas where the kinetic energy is higher it seems that there is a instability uh, on those areas. I'm going to go ahead and enable uh, from streamlines from different points and again we kind of see the same pattern. One other thing we can do is we can enable velocities so that we can see the velocity vector field in the pump. One interesting thing that I have found is that in the points where the water gets out of the pump, those points are at this one, this one, this one. It seems that the vector field is tensor and that actually makes sense because you will have more um, the last vectors on, at, at those areas because the water has to get out of the pump and where the water goes in which is the center of the pump as you can see again uh, the vectors are tensor and more specifically when they meet the plate it's probably because the plate you know disturb the water and and they start uh, spinning it around uh, by pressing the pressure button we can see the isosurfaces and we can take a look at the pressure, how the pressure is distributed uh, across the pump. As you can see again we've got higher pressure at the outskirts while the pressure is lower in the center of the pump and it seems that it, it seems kind of unstable in the center of the pump as you can see. Uh, by pressing those buttons we can switch between models as you saw um, a loading pop-up appears um, and then again we can do exactly the same thing so I'm going to go and hide the pump and then enable the streamlines and again we've got instabilities but if you compare it to the DES model 
you can immediately see that the SAES model is more unstable than the, than the DES model. One final thing we can do is we can use the animation buttons and we can uh, see how the streamlines develop over time. So by pressing the play button I can see how the instabilities develop and if new vortices develop or not. Um, you can always visit my website, download the source code, download the binaries and uh, play with the visualization and uh, feel, please feel free to contact me for any information or suggestion or comments you have. Thank you.